So here we are. Today's video is about a place I have been dreaming to visit for the last few years. And I don't mean the island of Borneo, which is where I am right now, in general. To many, this may seem like a small, insignificant, trivial vlog of a place that you may not even be interested in. But to me, this video has a much deeper meaning than just visiting this specific place. Very thick, big spikes. I would not want to fall on one of those, that would be painful. It's about setting yourself a goal, setting yourself a target, a dream that you would like to pursue, something that fascinates you, that nobody in your circle of people has ever done before. For me, it was about going somewhere, solo, alone, facing the fears to turn my dreams into reality. <laughs> it's really not even that deep, but it just felt like a personal achievement. At the very least, I hope this video can make you smile or laugh, but maybe it could also encourage you to chase your dreams, whether that's visiting a place that you've always wanted to visit, or pursuing a dream that's completely different from mine, which it probably is. My dreams may seem quite weird, but I hope no one is here to judge. Here's my story. Please, I would also love to hear from you. Tell me your dreams or goals in the comments. I have high hopes for today. Look how much prettier and how much better the view from my window looks, even the coast. I need to leave this hotel at 8 a.m. just because a taxi ride will take about an hour. It's going to cost me about 30 pounds in a taxi to go there and back. As you can imagine, I'm very excited because it's been my dream to go to this place for many, many years. And dreams really come true, you guys. If you believe in your dreams and believe that you can make them a reality for yourself, they will come true. I'm staying in a beautiful place which only costs me about 11 pounds or 12 pounds a night in my dream country and today I'm going to see some of my favorite animals in the whole world. Today we are going to Labuk Bay Proboscis Monkey Sanctuary, the only place in the world that I was able to find that offers extremely close and personal encounters with wild proboscis monkeys. I found out about this place a few years back and it has been saved on my phone ever since as one of the main things I want to do in life, together with eating breakfast with giraffes and sleeping at giraffes manor in Kenya and swimming with pigs in the Bahamas. Until I made my way there, I was completely unaware of the fact that Labuk Bay was in fact surrounded deep in the palm tree plantation. To be honest, it was very upsetting to see, driving for miles and miles, seeing nothing else but the plantation for palm oil production. So we just got here. This place is kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of a palm oil, palm tree plantation. And it soon became clear to me why those proboscis monkeys are there. Why they live in the wild, yet humans are feeding them. Well, here's your answer. Their natural habitat was mostly destroyed, including their food supplies and branch trees, which made the areas through which these monkeys could move. Now they are isolated on a small piece of land, far too small for the amount of monkeys which stayed here for them to sustain themselves naturally and have enough food to survive. Palm oil production is a huge problem not only across Borneo, but many countries close to the equator worldwide, killing thousands of habitats. So we actually ended up wandering off in the palm tree farm for quite a long time, so I advise you to come here well in advance and you also need a vehicle, 100%. Whether that's your own car or a taxi, 
but you can't get here by public transport or by walk it's just not possible we are at the viewing platform a i got my tickets there were 70 ringgits so 60 for the entrance and 10 ringgits to bring my camera to film and i think this is the entrance but the place looks very very quiet i mean there's only our car so here's my taxi driver he said he will come with me here because there's nobody else around so he said i would safely if i come along the place is definitely open and it's running it's just not very popular perhaps due to its remote location <laughs> I just got to the viewing platforms and turns out there's not really anyone here except for me but I can already see the monkey far in the distance <laughs> so I'm going to show you right now but I don't want to speak too loud because yeah, I'm the only person here except from the workers Uh, no. Love of Day, Proboscis Mountain Sanctuary is where I am right now. <laughs> this is a real moment and I get this private experience to myself because there's nobody else around. If you really want to get something in life, if you really want to experience something in life and you've been dreaming about it for years, take actions just do it go for it it's going to be worth it this is magic having such close encounters with proboscis monkeys right next to me this male looks very tired and very sleepy and i don't want to bother him too much because i can tell that he wants to rest but same with him look at his face they're communicating between each other they don't seem to be bothered by my presence at all there's one on the tree right there i'm sure you can see I think he's an old male, so I've been told here that the longer the noses, the older they are. Just got to the second viewing platform and turns out this place is actually more developed than I initially thought because here we have a restaurant, we have bathrooms, we have I love La Book Bay. It's 11 in the morning right now as we were driving through to the other platform It's like a 10 minute drive and you can get to see a lot of animals Monkeys on platform B by the way are different than from the platform A Every single day they feed them with pancakes with no sugar and cucumber So yeah, pancakes with no sugar and cucumber is what they get They're waiting for food because always at the same time and they're clever enough to know it's coming. Yes, 
so many of them here. I mean, I can see now why they said there are around 200 monkeys across the two platforms. Because even just here alone, I could probably count about 30 of them. Oh, look at the little baby. <laughs> Tiny. I think, yeah, I think here there are even more monkeys here at this platform which came over, but sadly they just don't come as close. North Borneo United, oh my goodness. That's the souvenir shop. They have a lot of t-shirts, key rings, magnets, toys. But yeah, it's closed. So by the look of it, all monkeys have gone now. There's no one left here because it's raining and I think they've gone to have an afternoon nap and I think now it's time for us to also eat something. Let's go to the restaurant and see what they offer because we have some time to relax now. I opted for the mi noodles with seafood and some fresh coconut because kapo that was sat right here they've gone down but they said this is the best fresh coconut that they've ever tried these are the seafood noodles so yeah i'm gonna dive in because i am really quite starving i only had a very small breakfast and usually i'm a big breakfast girl so yeah can't wait to try it mm. So we are back for the second feeding at the first platform, platform A at 2.30. I can see one, two, three, at least four males. And they get closer to you here than at platform B. Even on this wooden plank, the wooden terrace that we are on right now, if they jump here and they jump across the terrace, you can hear how heavy they really are. This is the males. Oh my god. I'm going to put my bag down because I'm a bit worried about it.
am at my last session of today. I just got a lot of different souvenirs. I got some keychains, which were hilarious. I might show you when I get back, I'll show you the keychains. But yeah, this is our last session of today. Okay, so it's time to leave the proboscis monkey sanctuary. 